don't know why we had to come to school on Saturday. Nobody's even here. That's the point, Bron. If anyone sees me, I will die straight after I kill you. Well, we've all got to make sacrifices for science. Easy for you to say. You tricked the school geek into doing a science project for you. Number one, Anthony's not a geek. B, I didn't trick him. And fourthly, he offered to help. So he could spend time with Linda, who he loves. Can we just get inside before someone sees us? Mm -hmm. oh. Well, if it isn't little squirt <laughs> and the bionic brainiac. <laughs> I'm going to wet myself. No! You'll be wetting yourself out of the other side of your face when we're world-famous urologists. <laughs> oh, yeah. Neurologist Bronson, please can you just get out of here before this becomes any more humiliating? Oh, yeah. just did. Greetings, Professor Bronson. Ready to create cranial history? You bet, Professor Anthony. Let's go do some science. <laughs> Man, are you sure this is safe? Relax and let the Anthonic Bronsometer do all the work. I still think Bronsonic Anthometer is catchier. Oh, look, names aren't important. It's science that counts. Now, the Anthonic Bronsometer analyzes yeah, your typical yeah. brainwave telepathy. Can twins read each other's minds? Can we please just get on with it? Ah, uh, of course. Now, the headsets have been monitoring your brainwaves all night, so it should be just a matter of taking a few final readings. We'll need a partial vacuum, so... Nozzle! Nozzle! All right, Linda. Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit, I promise. Right. Let's get turned on. Oh, the machine, that is. <laughs> I... Okay, probably voltage lag. No problem. I'll just goose up the juice then. Okay, my minor glitch, gang. I'll just recalibrate the potentiometer. Oh, I must have been out of my head to agree to this. Don't worry, guys. Anne will think of something. Right, Professor? Uh, uh. Sick. Sick. OK, OK. Thinking cap time. Brain's there, body's there. Tricky. Aha! Uh -huh. We we find a brain surgeon that makes house calls and nah nah hang on let's see. It's like watching the three stooges. Oh, they're missing a stooge. Yeah, the smart one. I've got an idea. <sighs> Please, Bronson. I doubt that your primary school science is going to solve the biggest medical challenge in human history. Sorry, I was just going to say switch the machine into reverse and shoot the brains back up their noses. But that's just brilliant. Bronson, you're a genius. Right, here's the plan. I'll stay here and fix the machine. You take the four of them somewhere less public. Quick, time is of the essence. How do I move them? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> well, we're in the right place for it. That guy really is a genius. <laughs> on a relationship day. We're taking an interest in each other's interests. 
So I'm showing Faye the special place I go for inspiration. Yeah, and I'm taking him to my all-time favourite movie. Great, won't hold you up. OK. Is anything wrong? You two look a bit light-headed. We've been getting my science project ready for Monday's contest, and it took a lot out of us, especially them. <laughs> OK, then. Well, take it easy. We'll see you about tea time. Open wide. Mm -mm, more sugar? How about you, Pete? A little mustard? Or a lot? Yeah, Bronson, stop playing with our food. Um, can I try yours, Pete? Sure, Linda. Let me help you. This is more fun than Mario Brothers. Oh, yeah, Phil, yeah, do that. Bermuda Triangle, Mars. One thing's for sure, we're about to be miles from the nearest hill. Oh, it's inspiring, isn't it? This is where I get all my best ideas. Tony, when I said share each other's interests, I was hoping for something a bit more interesting. I'll give it a chance, Faye. It's a pile of potential. It's the cradle of creativity. Well, you never know what you're going to find. Right. According to my calculations on the rocket's trajectory, the relative humidity and the prevailing wind conditions, it should land right about... ..here. Great. The tip. Dehydration will be an issue, so if you find them... ..be sure to keep them moist. I'll find them. Are you sure you'll be OK with these two? Of course. What could possibly go wrong? Hey! Are you okay? I think I've just been brainwashed. Oh my god! Hey. Oh. What is it, Faye? Are you alright? Mate, what is it? A genuine willow cat. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? Do you think there'd be any more? Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, what are we waiting for? It's hopeless. We'll be out of our skulls forever. Oh, you're such a bundle of nerves. I'll get us home. Home? Look at us. How can we possibly get home? Easy. Brain power. Huh? Hey, 
Hey! It's almost movie time. Although, if you'd rather stay longer... Oh, I could stay here all day. But we did have a deal. I've got a headache. Yeah, I forgot. We're not used to mental exertion. Shut your face. Anyway, this is all your fault, you know. Me? Anthony built the stupid machine. Exactly, because he's got the hots for you. Did you mind out of the gutter? He's only interested in my brain. <laughs> Road hop! Oh, this ain't gonna land it on a slug. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, Bron. Look out for anything brainy. Okay, galvanic thermocouple statement. Electro subsystems back online. Just sort of one last connection and done. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? The moment I get some time alone with you, your cerebellum is sucked from your skull and fired into the ionosphere. <laughs> Typical. You don't mind, do you? The Viking Book of Love. Hmm. True love embodied. Thine heart and mind. Strange phenomenon. It's no good. We're lost. Absolutely, hopelessly. Oh, Anthony, love of my life. I'm coming, Sugar Plum. Linda? Linda! Anthony, I know you're out there somewhere. Oh. Linda, we're safe. Here on in, it's plain sailing. Oh, You sure you wouldn't rather see the action movie? Anthony. Oh, Anthony. Linda. I'm coming, I really Anthony. think we should skirt around the town. Anthony. Okay, straight through it is. But I've got a bad feeling about... Oh! Go to Rail, 
Glinda! Roland! Hey! Oh, I know your brains anyway! Oh, oh, I'm so glad you're okay! Here, stay moist! Ah, um, uh, Bronson! You haven't seen James about, have you? I've been wanting him to wash my car for days now. He knows I'm chronically allergic to road grime and dust and. Oh no. Hold on. Oh, give me that. Ah! Uh. Oh no. I've used my brains out. Oh, woozy. Professor Anthony, I found them! Anthony? Where are you, Professor? What is it, Linda? What are you trying to tell me? In the cupboard? Bronson, there's been a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, doofus. We've still got the wax and juco to go. And then there's Mum's car. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the life, huh, guys? Yeah. What more could you want? Cool drink, baby? Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take this. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, give me. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> they should have had their brain removed a long time ago. <laughs> it's up to you, Professor Anthony. No problem, though. We do the honors, Professor Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> of the nerds, hey? We'll see about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, she, she loved him all along and her cruel fate just tore them apart. It's so tragic. Come on, Tony. Let's go and get you a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Floating brains? Check. Checking nasal probes. Watch out. Linda, I know if this works, you'll probably never speak to me again, but I honestly didn't mean any harm, and, and if I could swap places with you, I would. Come on, stop the lovey-dovey, kissy-kissy stuff and stand back. Contact. Joy, what rapture. Anth, we've got to stop meeting like this. Failure. Anthony, I forgive you, and I've missed you so much. <laughs> um, th th that's great, Linda, but there's been a mix-up. I know, but love is blind, isn't it? <laughs> Bronson, stop laughing, it's not funny. You mixed up the brains. I'll reset the probes, and you hit the button on the count of three. What? Three, three! This is an apostrophe. Okay, nerd boy, payback time. Yeah. <laughs> but Greaves, you don't understand. 
understand. Understanding's overrated. Yeah. It's like a nightmare, isn't it? Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Boom! Yeah, boom! boom. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah! I doubt it. And so, after much consideration and deliberation, this year's prize for the best science project goes to Bronson Twist. <laughs> None of it could have been possible without the help of Linda, Pete, and especially Anthony. Oh, good lad. <laughs> and to uh, hand over the certificate, we have the assistance of a kind volunteer. Don't lose your head. Yeah, we'll come up with something for sure. Stop it, you morons. When I get out of this, I'll, I'll, I'll brain you. Have you ever 